why I have been showing you this is this is a very common thing. Now we have a little a little about the <laughs> rather uh, I do not know if it is a raspberry board you have seen this here. So, we see all sorts of things we say, see 0.1 inch pin headers 0.1 inch refers to the pitch to 0.54 millimeters and double row 0.1 inch header you understood this one is a socket this one is a plug type which I have shown you and then something here we also see which is not very satisfactory that is a powering in terminals if you remember in the beginning we talk about cost often this cost seems to dictate how bad things can be if uh, my colleague can kindly give me this you see here I am not very clear mm, probably yes it may be an audio or it may be something if you spend more money you get a proper connector if you do not spend enough money you end up with something often which fails as if this is not sufficient most of the been have uh, I mean the original sockets have been made such that there is a built in battery or a battery backup inside. If you provide external power that is uh, the circuit is interrupted and then is uh, powered from outside. If you remove it the internal battery works. So, a built in switch contact also is maintained. So, it leads a little bit of a problem ah fantastic here they are getting to a very organic thing about mating cycles and all that no maybe they will build houses eventually or go into a nesting season. Sorry for the small problem, but what you will notice here is that uh, connectors have a finite life connecting disconnected them is what wears them out data sheets usually present that information in terms of mating cycles. So, USB connector may have a lifetime in the thousands or tens of thousands of cycles where a board to board connector designed for use inside electronics may be limited to tens of cycles. You see one very interesting thing here. You see this is having flat surface mount contacts I do not know the designation and once it sits on the top of a what you call printed circuit board something from the top gets inserted here on the top something is inserted here and now I think you should read it for it about the connector data sheet and so on just read it. Fifty insertion cycles <laughs> would not it go out in the manufacture itself? No. <laughs> Generally, they are all you know checked, the in connector is checked, then probably the functionality is checked directly by a different device. And once when the whole thing is pushed on top of it, it works extremely reliably. Satellites do not fail, the connectors will not fail, your module will not fail. You just have to stand in the open and wait for the satellite to connect. So, about this mounting the connector is mounted in use panel mount free hanging boarding mount what the angle of the connector is relative to the attachment or how it is mechanically attached solder tab surface mount through hole. So, added to that there is a very funny thing the professionals and military you know use the word bulkhead anything which is used on a vertical plate no instead of calling it a panel they will call it a bulkhead but they have reasons and this is you have seen here 
it is looks a little like a multipurpose uh, thing. It has a small soldering uh, hole and all that plus it is punched out of a flat sheet. So, you can mount it on the PCB or you can connect a cable also to it while this you know is clearly a cable mounted thing. Now, you just read it PCB mounted by soldering because there is no other way of holding on to the panel inline cable mount instead. So, one side it is connected to a, a some what you call two pins which come from the printed circuit board other side it it has a that nice uh, coaxial connector and finally, panel mount we have a nut in the front panel mount will be just a hole with a nut or as I have explained to you earlier they can be a flange you can be a flange with four holes. We see that B and C occasionally the T and C connectors you have a nice flange with four holes there is a reason for that which is better one of the thing is especially for B and C it is essential you mount it like that because by definition we are going to take a mating socket part and going to rotate it so that it engages permanently that often causes the other end to completely fail. Only other way of getting over it is to make a D side a D type uh, things. So, some of these especially B and C has a D type uh, cut here. So, when you push it inside the D is supposed to prevent it, but due to small variations in uh, manufacturing tolerances the opening D opening can be a little bigger and the connector can be a little smaller you end up with an unpleasant uh, situation that first damage starts and eventually it will start rotating. Most important thing here when a connector mounts to a board or a cable electrical connections tend to be fragile. It is typical to provide some kind of a strain relief to transfer any forces acting on that connector to more mechanically sound object than the fragile electrical connections. So, I am sure all of you know about this uh, 3.5 mm cable jack which you use in your headphones. <laughs> Very interesting this is taken from an old telephone uh, this thing where you have uh, quarter inch 6.35 the terminology you have seen there the tip and ring and it was carried through in the uh, pot supply old telephone system that the word tip and ring is even used in the electrical circuits this is the only place very clearly they explained what a tip and ring is. People who are in the telecom industry will probably either learn or appreciate it old like me you will appreciate it if you are young I you have a chance for learning. This is a 3.1 mm normal headphone jack comes with a strain relief boot ok. This is the one which main thing is if you pull this out here or if you hold an anything the contacts inside no should not get damaged but often they do. Ah, nice word host and peripheral host is the one which supplies the power and then it has certain features one of them is that it is 5 volts and the current is limited very carefully you have seen this we have two issues there, but uh, this is not an electrical thing it is about how much of power you can get. So, as you say if you multiply both of them a little over uh, 2 watts is what I can produce I am sorry what can what needs to be supplied on all conditions. So, generally it is restricted to 350 milliamps and that your other side should not draw more than this. So, I leave all this first thing is which I was explaining to you a USB connector can be inserted only one way nominally you understood no. If you are a vandal or a hacker <laughs> nothing prevents you from removing the barrier and push it the, that is all. It will result in damage because 
extreme ends are uh, per issue is there. Then if you see carefully Apple does not use this. If you use that lightning uh, connector it can go both directions it can go like this and the other way also there is an advantage and disadvantage. Some uh, things are uh, duplicated some things uh, are ok, but that is again they have made sure that uh, you cannot interchange with the other subjects. All USB connectors at least have 4 contacts these are for power ground data line data high end data low designed to transmit so much shielding. Metal shell which is not part of the electrical circuit is provided keep signal intact in the case of environments with a lot of electrical noise. So, it is built in that the outside uh, world you know. So, you only read it a little you see here this word I will just make it little smaller So, left one comes as the host right one is the other thing now you see this small two contacts which I was trying to show you on the sample I had and then the small openings where this will go and sit into that. Then we have the power pins some of the features. Now, it comes to the huge list of what is USB A, B and you know mm, mini micro it looks like a non-stop thing. USB A female is a standard host connector on most computers or any device intended to have peripherals plugged into it. You have seen this no and you see a small designation also is there 3 versus the old black. Somebody has removed this outside shell to see how well the contacts are made you see it is a 4 uh, terminal So, we have all this I hope you have read it carefully Oh. This has come probably of the reason of you needed to stack them and a little more on the squarish side. You see the whole mounting a little more squarish. It is a little stronger compared to the other thing. So, occasionally you find it on printers because for some reason they may have a problem and some types of hubs and all that you have this USB type B squarish thing. So, not long ago USB B was used for more rugged uh, this thing compared to the other one. Oh we are coming into a nice beautiful area. Mini has an attempt first attempt you have seen that no reduce the connector for smaller devices found on smaller peripherals mp3 older cell phones small hard drives external hard drives surface mount connector. You will notice that most hard drives the pocket hard drives and all come with it there is a small advantage of it also. Normally uh, you are not likely to use a charging cable for connecting it because that USB to this mini has uh, data things also. So, they are slightly different I am just you can just check. You have seen this this very beautiful shape is characteristic of it which you do not find with 
uh, the micro cable that small step with a 45 degree chamfer is characteristic of this. Now we finally come to the micro female you have seen here there is no step but instead it is shaped one end for connecting with a USB micro as a peripheral. So, by default most cell phones these days come with a socket which is mounted on this and then the data come charging cables all of them now practically come with this. This is the typical you have seen this we have say OTG on the go cable devices. So, if you have a mobile phone like this sir can you show me this if you have a mobile phone like this normally we connect this for connecting it to the what you call peripheral on the other side, but it has a small also called the OTG cable where the other side has a first connector the female part of it. So, if you have this now any of these devices can directly be plugged into the phone hmm? I can plug it just for uh, fun I am just showing you you can also plug in normal pen drives and all into this this is only about the cable not about the operating system there you should need you need a file manager something to read it not part of this thing is as I started and told you earlier we have to live with them and yes then audio is a long list of audio connectors you would have seen this is what was shown there no your tip and uh, thing is there phone plug with a right angle ok and in the back all this stuff how it is mounted now we come to that RCA which I was talking to you about I do not know how the designation has come probably being supplanted by connections like HDMI uh, I was born a little later not I am not that old uh, but even now most of the connections between a set top box and a TV or a satellite of the things make use of the 3 pin yellow black and blue or yellow blue red and uh, other combination a 3 pin flat cable which has you have a audio then uh, left and right separately and then the video cable the advantage being video at a, I am not very fam, I mean familiar with the frequency is it works very well audio definitely works video also is reasonably works well. So, if you have a game uh, Nintendo Wii and all that now of course, the latest ones have all been changed with HDMI, HDMI has other features also automatic resolution setting. So, that you do not complain saying it is not working once you plug it in it just works very well. So, we have the video and you have seen this beautiful nice way of remembering red is for right white is the other <laughs> but each of them remember has two contacts some of them the outer is isolated separately very rarely they are joined together that operation also is available. So, we come to a large number of this type of you know connectors saying this is something I think probably after this I will try to stop. 
So, we have all this you know stuff which goes into the this thing here you see here there is a center pin and outside there is a contact ok. So, this is the outside sleeve and uh, there is something else inside and then this whole thing you see here if you see carefully we have a beautiful thing here something here which directly can be crimped onto the sleeve and then afterwards we still have a boot or a strain relief mechanism. So, this is here we have this little problem about why uh, positive can be out and why positive can be in and all that not yet decided. I, I do not know in person, but you will notice in the case of your cars and all that they usually have positive grounding or it is con considered to the metal body may be related to some corrosion may be related to something and the negative is what drives it. So, both sides of th these things are there. Now, we have come to a beautiful arrangement called the molex. Name of the company which has become generic that is a lot of what you call shows how first time when it was uh, you know invented how well they have thought about it are designed to carry currents up to O. You have seen that Molex connectors. This is one part, the mating part is the other side. You have seen that very important, I think in one of the very earlier lectures I talked to you about it is not about how the shell or the head uh, fits into the eater, but the pin uh, designation uh, decides on it. It is just loosely calling you know male and female, which uh, while uh, there is nothing sexist about it, it does not clearly indicate what it is, but then pin and socket seems to be a better thing. A socket is by definition you know you put anything inside. So, we have this molex pins in this thing and now slowly we come to IEC 60320 <coughs> power supply inlet which is supposed to be this I am sure you have seen this on all of your adapters for computers. The outlet part of it is usually molded and uh, from the adapter the outlet is molded and given to your computer because that is very specific voltage may be different and uh, the termination at the end may be different. The inlet will be in this condition. So, the advantage here is you can have either a 2 pin if you want you can have 3 pin the other side can carry uh, a plug which can fit in the local system. So, when uh, something ships from uh, the manufacturer it comes with a cable which is suitable for the lower end. So, AC connectors we can do. So, I mean this is not very very common, uh, but then you will notice it that you will find these things are also. You have seen this 
pin header are several different means of connection one side there is a series of pins another side there is a series of sockets this is what you have these things here which you have seen earlier. Here also we have highly reliable to very cheap connectors. So, as a combination this is a socket this is this goes on to the PCB and then on the other side you have all these connectors. Uh, I think I need to take a break at this point I will stop here with the screw terminations which especially in the control and instrumentation industry the several type of sensors several types of things which are already part of chemical and other control equipment need to be terminated externally by putting screws and uh, nuts. You cannot automatically engage a standard connector and push it there. So, I will continue the lecture next time because it has been uh, quite uh, as I see it is a lot of stuff for you to understand unless you have seen them. If you have seen them you may feel it is not enough. So, my suggestion is try to look and read any of these things here. I hmm? will just uh, sir please uh, put the screen yeah go to any of these uh, hits you are likely to get read up So, quickly I can talk to you we have Farnell then we have Hella which is a German uh, this thing then uh, there are uh, some people who supply and then the panel builders invariably depend on Phoenix contact. These are also a German uh, probably German or what you call multinational company and a lot of us know about Moser. The other thing intentionally I have uh, picked up things from suppliers which are able to supply you these things from alternate things. So, if you see the uh, Farnell is a what you call uh, like the GK and uh, this thing now everything has come down. If you are a small not uh, any other way no not in the level or a uh, somebody who likes to do things at a small scale and all that you will get them usually in Amazon. <laughs> and in our Indian conditions no, we also have other suppliers like this online DG key and so many of these people supply things. So, about application I will continue later about the application how to select and all that I will continue later. The only hint what I can give is you must use something which is already used by others to make them compatible and people have spent a lot of uh, choice and I mean exercise their choice after spending a lot of time and hence they are not likely to go wrong. Secondly, yours will be compatible. So, thank you.